Do you want to know how to apply a professional full highlight? Well, I'm going to share a technique that is used by countless top professionals around the world. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that that way you can be notified every time I upload a professional salon video. We're going to start by consulting with our guest. Do they want to whisper, talk, or scream with their highlights? What stitch will you use to achieve what they seek? Is it a microweave for a whisper? Is it a regular stitch for a talk? Or possibly even slices if they want to scream? We're going to drape the guest with a towel underneath to prevent damage to their clothing. Section the hair into four basic sections. We're going to go ahead and mix formula number one. Remember to mix a lower developer to start, and we can always increase as we move up the head. This allows for an even lift throughout. We went ahead and started at the nape. Take horizontal partings and weave out the selected strands. Position the fold of the foil at the bottom to allow for adjustment should it slip during the application. We're going to go ahead and place it under the woven strands. Apply the lightener at least an inch from the edge of the foil. Now work the remaining product up towards the edge. This small system will prevent bleeding from occurring and will give your highlights a less stripey and more natural diffused look. Let's fold the foil upwards once. This allows for speed and breathability. Complete the back sections rotating from left to right to ensure consistency. Split larger sections in half to fit in the foil. Move to the side section now. We want to take diagonal back partings working up the head. Hot tip, be mindful of the parting size. If you want more highlights, take small partings. If you want less highlights, then take larger partings, and then we'll just weave off the top. Repeat the application on the other side. Next, we'll do a strand test. We'll do this on our last foil to see if the hair is lifted to our desired lightness. If lifted, we're going to go ahead and bring our guests to the shampoo bowl and pull the foils. Let's rinse and shampoo. Time to mix a toner if needed. Remember to consult with your guest to see what their desired look is. Then use your undertone chart to cancel any unwanted tones should you need to. toner to towel blotted hair from base to ends. Toning is a visual timing, so be sure to watch for desired results. It is usually ready when it processes about one level darker than the visual result desired. You can always perform a strand test by wiping clean with a towel. Time to rinse, shampoo, and condition. as desired. Remember to style the hair in a way that works with your guest's routine. We want to give them something that they can achieve at home. Let's educate the guests about the products we use. Tell them why you like it. They may end up liking it too. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button below so that we can reach more people within the YouTube algorithm. If you're a salon owner who is interested in taking your business to the next level, we invite you to join our mentorship program by clicking the link below and filling out the application. We are super selective on who we bring into the program because we want to make sure that you are in a place in your business where we can truly support you and help you thrive. Thank you so much for watching. We've got a plethora of videos that you can check out here that dive deeper into all things professional salon and hair. With that said, feel free to follow me on Instagram. And as always, use my name, James Gartner, to save 10% on balebeauty.com where you can find wholesale quality pro salon tools for less. See you guys in the next one. Bye.